Hey everyone, uh, this is a video guide to speedrunning Ocean Monuments in uh, Minecraft Java Edition versions 1.14 and 1.16 mainly. Um, there are eight hidden goal blocks in this structure, and in both of those versions uh, that can be pretty useful. Um, so you're going to need at least an iron pick, uh, two milk buckets, and one door for this. Um, you can see it goes pretty quickly. Uh, there's a chance you'll get mining fatigue, there's a chance you'll get hit here. But this first run I'm showing is one of my fastest ones. Um, I'm going to show a run directly after this uh, that didn't go so well, just so you can kind of compare. So yeah, this run is starting from the same position as before, but this is a different ocean monument. Um, I wanted to showcase a second run that kind of shows how some things can go wrong, how you can get a little bit unlucky, what it should look like in a normal run. Um, you can see I kind of forget how to swim a couple points here. But um, there are four different positions these eight gold blocks can be. You can find it if you see uh, Dark Prismarine. And uh, <clears throat> I got unlucky here and it was in the fourth position that I checked, so I just wanted to highlight a run that shows all four different positions. Um, <clears throat> I would recommend using two milk buckets and at least a couple doors but uh, you can try to risk it with one milk bucket here um, and a single door that's all you have uh, so after this run I'll talk about uh, my routing different uh, structures and where these gold blocks can be and how to get some of this iron and the strategy behind it okay so uh, ocean monuments in general are pretty complicated structures on the inside. Their generation code is uh, random and kind of annoying. But uh, fortunately for us, we only care about the eight gold blocks. Uh, and uh, They spawn in one of four positions every time, so it makes it pretty easy to loot. The main concern is the three Elder Guardians that spawn uh, in every ocean monument. There's always one at the top. Uh, they basically every 60 seconds they search for a player within 50 blocks and if they find one they give that player mining fatigue which basically makes us you can't mine anything uh, for five minutes at all fortunately if you find a cow and use a bucket on it you get milk and uh, that's our strategy for removing mining fatigue and mining into the gold blocks uh, so I would recommend two milk buckets for doing this. Um, every once in a while you get mining fatigued once and the elder guardians will kind of like sync up and they'll only mining fatigue you every 60 seconds. So you can get away with one milk bucket, but sometimes they mining fatigue you back to back and you have to use two or else you're just kind of stuck. So uh, I've done it with one before, but I would pretty much recommend two. Uh, the ocean monument structure, this is the front of it. Uh, there's these four little archways. Uh, with a path that leads into the interior in the front. Uh, and there's two sides, but the side we care about is this back side with little archways on the back here. Um, I've put little indicators with wool um, in the back to show kind of where uh, the gold blocks can potentially spawn. Uh, if we're facing the monument from the back side here, uh, I refer to this position as the back right, this one is the middle right middle left, and back left. Uh, and these are the only four positions these eight gold blocks can spawn. Uh, the red wool indicates where the 2x2 two two gold blocks can be, and the green wool indicates the um, dark prismarine that spawns inside of it. Uh, this one happened to spawn in this position. So if I look down here, uh, I'll be able to see the 4x4 four four dark prismarine and sea lanterns, and in the very center here, there's eight gold blocks that you can't see, but they're there. Uh, in all the other four positions, or the three positions, there will be no dark prismarine that spawns. So as soon as you dig and you see this block, you know you've hit the right position. Um, so I've indicated with uh, pink wool where I think the best spot to put a door down to dig down and protect yourself is. So um, if we're approaching from this back right position, I like to come in here, place a door down, um, you have to be kind of at the front edge of the block. If you're right here, the door won't place, but if you're up here, it will. Um, as long as you mine down in any of these green positions, it'll still work the same. 
So I could put a door here and mine down. Um, well, it's not the right position, but if I did mine down there, I mean, I could put it in this position. And then I'm... So if I mine down here and dig down, I could put a door here technically, and I could mine the gold blocks uh, from this position just fine. But um, these little guardians can be pretty pesky. <laughs> Uh, and they need line of sight, so they have a uh, laser attack that charges up for two seconds and then hits you for um, a few hearts of damage, depending if you're on normal or easy. If you change to easy difficulty, it's actually, I think you can take maybe six hits. On uh, normal difficulty, you take four hits from these guys before you die. Uh, but this door position, I think, gives you the best kind of um, coverage, like blocking line of sight. From a lot of the elder guardians you can still get hit in this position but if you're really quick and you put a door down this blocks a lot of them and then you can actually mine this block and uh, if you crouch you kind of have a good chance of blocking it as well but if this was the right position there would be dark first marine underneath and i would just place a door here and i would start to mine in the direction of this red wool uh, so i think this position gives you the best coverage overall um, I like to then swim under here, so you're kind of blocking one side from the Guardians again. Put in another door up right here, mine down. Um, if you get the correct position, you just put a door down here and you start mine. Uh, Guardians can attack you from here, but you can place blocks to kind of defend yourself if you want. Guardians can also block you from here, and you can also place blocks to defend yourself that way. Um, once you do end up mining all these gold blocks, um, if you have put a block above your head, I would recommend mining this first, and then mining this block. Then you gather all your gold and go back up. Because if you get mining fatigue while you're gathering your gold here, um, you're going to have to kind of you know, deal with this block above you, put another door down, drink milk. It can get a little annoying. So I would remove these blocks first, and then... Um, continue on your way out uh if the gold isn't in this position i again try to swim uh under here go over here put a door down if it's not in this position um then you go over here put a door down and see if it's in this position um so it's pretty simple after you've run it a few times um it can get a little confusing which archways uh, to look under, and uh, let me replace the pink bull here because I have a little um, trick that helps me kind of remember which spot the mine's into. Um, so in this back left spot that I call this, uh, you want to put your door left of this archway and in the back. So it's also back left. The gold's going to be above you. In this middle left position, you're going to put it again left of this archway, but now middle, so that there's this little gap. So back left, right here, back left, and then middle left is middle left. And the right side is mirrored. It's the exact same. So middle right, I put in the middle right position. Back right, I put in the back right position. Um, I found I could do this pretty reliably in under a minute speedruns. Um, uh, when I first started doing this, I would die maybe 50% of the time to the Guardians. Uh, now I die almost, I don't know, maybe like 5 or 10% of the time. You still get hit if there's a lot of these guys around, so it's not a super safe strategy, but I think with these positions and with smart play, um, you could do this pretty reliably in under a minute. Um, so I would recommend in a speed run uh, try and get one shipwreck and one buried treasure before you do this in either versions 1.14 or 1.16 um, you'll get around seven or eight iron from a shipwreck and uh, if you find a buried treasure map you can get um, some gold and emeralds which helps you out in 114 and you can get uh, from the buried treasure sometimes you can get TNT you'll get food from that and you'll get uh, maybe seven to eight more iron uh, so you can make two milk buckets from that. It's going to be kind of hard to find a cow. Uh, I've struggled a lot. You usually have to find mainland 
Uh, cows only spawn on these grass blocks, so it sometimes takes you a long time to find both a beach with some cows. Oh, okay. <laughs> sometimes it can take you a really long time to find a beach with cows uh, and trees to make like a boat and everything. And a shipwreck and the ocean monument. But if the seed comes up, um, honestly, it's a really, really good strat. I thought this was kind of a meme at the start, but it's been working out pretty well. In version 1.14, uh, the gold blocks you get from here give you about three quarters of the emeralds you need for pearls. So you're almost completely done. Combined with the shipwreck and buried treasure, you're 90% of the way to um, pearl trades. In 1.16, obviously gold is really good for bartering. Um, if you have some obsidian before going into the nether, you can um, get some more obsidian from trades with this, get plenty of pearls, uh, potion fire resistance, pretty valuable stuff. So uh, yeah, hope you like the guide, and uh, good luck looting ocean monuments.